In today's video, I'm going to introduce the latest gameplay, animation, visual, outfit, and creature-related mods that will enhance your Skyrim experience. I've carefully selected the most satisfying must-have mods for you, so I hope you're excited. If you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing, liking, and turning on notifications. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. First, I want to introduce some gameplay-related mods. Lately, I have been paying attention to Skypatcher-related mods. One of them is Mortal Enemies, Skypatched, which makes Mortal Enemies work based on Skypatcher. For those who are not familiar with Mortal Enemies, this mod removes the ability of all enemies to track the player with 100% accuracy during combat. Vanilla monsters have very fast rotation speed, which is not a problem until they are right next to you and never miss, because they are too fast. But with this mod, if the player moves behind the enemy, the enemy will not be able to track the player quickly. This mod is made based on Skypatcher and does not have an ESP. The creator says that this mod has maximum compatibility and that patches for Skytest and similar mods are no longer needed, so you might want to try it out. The next mode is No Level Up menu. In this mod, the Magica Health Stamina pop-up menu is disabled. You can level up and get perks without the pop-up menu. However, if you use this mod, you will not be able to get Magica Health Stamina through leveling. Therefore, players who want to improve their Magica Health Stamina separately or limit the acquisition of perks in this mode should try it out once. The next mod is Rainbows over Waterfalls. This mod makes the waterfalls have rainbows and other colors in them. The time and location of the rainbows vary depending on the day and season. The natural waterfalls and colors blend well with the environment, making the waterfall scenery more beautiful. Mod provides patches to make various mods compatible, and it also works with Lux and Natural Waterfalls mods, so please try adding a rainbow to your waterfalls to improve them even more. Next up is Diverse Campfires Base Object Swapper. This mod adds over 30 variants of the campfires you find around Skyrim, with different shapes and styles of the fire and the log. You can also see the texture of the log that is used to build the fire, which gives a Nordic feel to the campsite. And usable unlit campfires. A campfire add-on mod also exists. This mod allows you to use campfires that are not lit by turning off the light source. If you are using campfire, complete camping system, try lighting a fire on an unlit campfire and see how immersive it feels to have a realistic campfire experience. Next up is Flame VFX Edit. This mod enhances the visual effects of the vanilla fire spell. Created by Kitty Tail, the mod improves the color gradients and shading of the fire spell, adding refraction light warping effects. It also introduces new meshes, smooth bloom lens flares, and additional particles for all kinds, providing more particles for the vanilla particles and making subtle adjustments. Give it a try if you're interested. In this corner, I want to introduce you to some animation-related mods. There are some mods that I want to share with you. First up is MCO ADXP Sorceress Animation. This mod allows you to use the same moveset as the video when you wear the items from this mod. They are magic casting motions, and each motion fires a different spell. However, there are some problems, such as the items being classified as two-hands ward, so you run with an empty item in both hands when you sprint, and the required mods are too many, and the magic is too powerful, making it too hard to set the balance in the early game. But I wanted to introduce this to you first, because this is one of the few sorcerer-exclusive movesets, and I think you can make a pretty good sorcerer performance if you polish this motion. Next up is Dynamic Sky Climb and Parkour. This mod enables different climb animations based on the player character's sneak level. If the player's sneak level is below 50, an attempt to climb will result in a failing animation. Sneak levels above 50 trigger the standard climb animation you're familiar with, while surpassing level 80 activates the parkour animation. 
With various animations available depending on sneak skill, this mod emphasizes the importance of the sneak skill and allows players to experience their character's growth firsthand. If you prefer more dynamic parkour animations, this mod is worth considering. Next up is Katana 2H Whip. This mod adds MCO ADXP movesets for two-handed katanas. While it's a work in progress, I've introduced it to you because it features quite natural attack animations. However, there are some areas that need refinement, especially regarding movement animations. Considering it's a whip version, I believe the animations themselves are not bad. The condition folder is configured to trigger these movesets when using ebony-type two-handed swords. Next up is Divine's Prayer Animations. This mod presents unique animations for each of the nine divines when praying before their shrines. For instance, when praying to Talos, your character will hold a sword, and when praying to Kinnereth, they will kneel and pray. This mod adds diverse prayer animations, enhancing the atmosphere and making your relationship with the gods feel more immersive. Give it a try to experience various prayer animations. Next up is Vanergand Animations 2, Unarmed Pugilism Stance. This mod changes the animations for movement when not holding any weapons, with the character having their hands open. Until now, there hasn't been a mod to replace the lackluster vanilla motions for this scenario, but now, with this mod, there's a welcome alternative. The natural movement of both the upper and lower body, coupled with the familiarity for players who already use Vanergond animations, makes this a great addition. In this segment, I'd like to introduce a few visual enhancement mods that caught my attention. First up is Burned Book 2K 8K by Imleni. This mod elevates the appearance of burnt books, giving them a more refined and realistic makeover. By altering the models and textures of the books, it sets a tone reminiscent of ancient and medieval eras, making these books appear beautiful and captivating. These books are quite common to come across while exploring dungeons, and I always felt a bit disappointed that there wasn't a suitable replacement. Given its impressive quality, especially noticed during actual gameplay, I highly recommend this mood for those seeking a visual upgrade. Next up is Glazed Pottery 2K 8K by Imleni. This mod aims to enhance the sophistication and realism of Skyrim's glass pottery. Upgrading the models and textures to resolutions ranging from 2K to 8K, the mod strives to achieve a harmonious blend of ancient and modern aesthetics. Indeed, I noticed a substantial improvement in Skyrim's pottery through this mod. The subtle cracks and the texture resembling dried clay in the middle of the pottery are quite impressive and add a touch of elegance. As a noteworthy replacer mod, I highly recommend it to enhance your Skyrim experience. Next up is El Sopa, safe and strong box redone. This mod enhances the quality of powerful chests and secure lock boxes in Skyrim. El Sopa's distinctive superior textures are evident, particularly highlighting the improved expression of the steel texture. Notably, this mod reconstructs all devices without the need for an ESP and introduces new designs and effects. In this segment, I'd like to introduce a couple of outfit-related mods. There are two mods I'd like to highlight. First up is Forgotten Princess. This mod adds a high-quality dress outfit that harmoniously combines Nordic style with trendiness. The outfit includes a dress, shoulder tee, coat, and crown. Particularly noteworthy are the wolf fur embellishments on the shoulders and the fur cape on the opposite side. Combining Nordic style with a dress seemed challenging, but after seeing this outfit, I realized it's not impossible. If you find it appealing, I recommend giving it a try. Next up is Eastern Brassplate. This mod adds a quite unique helmet, a suit of heavy armor reminiscent of dwarven art, and a one-handed mace. It evokes a Morrowind-style dwarven art vibe, with ornate gold accents complementing the cloth texture quite well. As an armor mod that manages to look rugged yet boasts excellent design, I wanted to recommend it to you. 
Finally, I'd like to introduce the Striding Silt Strider creature. This mod allows you to ride a walking fish, the Silt Strider, in Solstheim. While Silt Striders are commonly used as a fast means of transportation in Morrowind, this mod directly adds walking Silt Striders. You can witness scenes of them strolling along the coast and their faces project light, blending quite well with the atmosphere of Solstheim. I'm sharing this with you because it adds a unique touch to the surroundings. Thank you for joining us today as we explored the must-have Skyrim mods that elevate your gameplay, animation, visuals, outfits, and creatures. If you're as excited as we are about these fantastic additions to Skyrim, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on the latest content. Your support means the world to us. Until next time, happy modding and may your Skyrim adventures be ever more enchanting. See you in the next video.